guys and welcome back to another Flintstones review. So this one is for the, is it 14th? I think 14th episode, which is the girls' night out. Uh, this one, kind of a weird one, but I liked it. Uh, basically, Fred comes home from work, expects that his food be on the table the second he sits down. Thus, he must have run, uh, run a red light, according to Wilma, and she is panicking, trying to run it out there fast enough, and he still bitches about it, because of course he does, because he's Fred, because he acts like my dad, but <laughs> anyway, he goes on and on bitching about, he works hard all day, da -da 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 -da, and expects food to be on the table when he sits down, and Wilma finally gives him some lip, and says, you know, it's always about you, 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 what about me for a change, I work hard too, da -da 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 -da. and starts to complain about how she never gets to go anywhere, he never takes her out, and he tries to contradict that, saying, no, nah, no, nah, I'll count all the times I've taken you out, and he can't, because he hasn't. He tries to claim their honeymoon, but, yeah, that doesn't count, so, alright, he goes and takes his food, and he eats outside, because he knows he's basically in the doghouse at this point. And Barney comes to join him on the stoop, because he, too, is in the doghouse, for the same reason. So they get to talking, and they decide between the two of them, maybe they should take the ladies out somewhere, give them a good time. And they start brainstorming, where could they even take them to? And Fred somehow gets it in his head he should take them to the amusement park, because amusement parks are fun, they need fun in their lives, what better place to go, and somewhere that they totally remember. Yeah. They take them to an amusement park. The ladies are none too impressed with this. <laughs> It's not exactly their idea of where they would have liked to have gone, but you know what? It's better than sitting at home. At least there's people there, so... They go. They go on rides that just are not their thing. They eventually end up sitting stuff out while the guys are still going around having a great time themselves, because of course they are. Um, and eventually, after wandering into a photo booth, which is literally a dude chiseling friend's picture into a slate, <laughs> um... They wander into a recording studio where you can pay to record any kind of message or a song or anything you like. And then they kind of both are standing there like, I don't know what to say, well, what should we say, I don't know. And then Fred decides he's going to record a song, kind of just for shits and giggles. And Wilma decides it's like the most horrible thing she's ever heard in her life. It gets left behind. Some teenagers find it in there later and just for shits and giggles decide they want to play it. And they end up loving it. <laughs> and they decide they're gonna make this guy their new teen sensation. <laughs> they don't even know who it is, and they decide this. So, next thing you know, this thing is on the radio, and there's like a search for who is this mystery singer, contact us if you have any info. So Wilma catches it on the radio. They're both just floored that this is even on the radio, like how'd they get a hold of it? The calls in, next thing they know, there's like a record producer at their house who wants to meet Fred and give him, like, a teen heartthrob makeover and everything. And Fred becomes hi-fi. <laughs> and he looks so stupid, I have to admit, with, like, the slicked hair and the weird glasses and a guitar. It just, it's so corny, but I love it. Like, it kind of gives Buddy Holly vibes, not gonna lie. But anyway, the, the musical style does not, but the look kind of does. But anyway, so... They decide he's going to go on a tour of personal appearances, and they're going to bring the wives with them, because now they can never say that they don't get to go anywhere, because they're going to be going so many places that they'll never have to have this hanging over their heads again, right? As if that's how it works. And very quickly, this wears on the ladies, and they decide this is not it. But of course, Fred's letting it go to his head, as he does everything. And it's like a whole thing, and the record producer is trying to reassure Wilma that, oh, these things never last longer than a couple of weeks, and then teenagers latch onto something else and they've moved on to the next thing. Except that for some reason it doesn't seem to be happening with Hi Fi, and it keeps dragging out. So Wilma gets the genius idea in her head let's start a nasty little rumor that will ruin Hi Fi so the kids will move on to the next thing already. So they start a room about hi-fi is a square, because that is the worst word in the teen lexicon. And sure enough, yep, 
No sooner does this game of telephone play out, and that concert hall is vacant, and it's all over. So they all go home, Fred's all sad that it's over, still wondering what the hell happened, and he thinks still, though, that he, at least he won't have to worry about Wilma bitching about not getting to go anywhere again, because she was homesick by this point. And literally, same day, she's already whining that she doesn't get to go anywhere. <laughs> And he hits the roof over it, and that's how it ends. I don't know, I mean, it's a goofy-ass episode, but I thought it was fun. I liked it. I liked this one a lot. Um, I think this one probably, probably, like a four and a half out of a five. I feel like maybe it would have been a five if they'd, like, given him a second song to oscillate between instead of just the same one on loop. I get that these were, like, cranked out quickly, uh, so they didn't have a whole hell of a lot of time for production on them, especially this first season, but still a lot of fun, though. I would still recommend it if you've never seen this one, just because it's so over-the-top ridiculous, but I love it. So, anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything more. It's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.